Hi, my name is Stephanie Manley and I'm from copycat.com. Today I'd like to show you a brief overview of copycatchat.com. It's a forum that I've been running for recipe-minded people for over eight years. I have over 800,000 posts on the message board and I bet that you're going to be able to find a recipe or a cooking tip or something else like that that you might be interested in. So you come to copycatchat.com and you're taking a look at it. This home page right here has recipes and articles written by viewers just like yourself. So here on the right hand side we've got recent blog posts because you have the ability to post a blog if you like. Then also a little bit further down on the right hand side you've got recent forum posts. All right, so most of our activity happens on the forum. So go ahead and give the forum a click. All right, so I have this page divided into three sections. Uh, the first section is copycat news and chat. So here I use this forum to write about administrative issues. This might be something simple like I've added a new forum or um, the site's gonna be down for a little bit of maintenance. What's new at copycat.com? We'll let you know what's being new and fresh at copycat.com. Copycat chat is where most of the action happens. This is where viewers, just like yourself, interact with people of, over a wide variety of things. I next have recipes written, broken into broad categories. This is where you can put your recipe requests. Copycat recipes. So those are the restaurant style recipes. Tried and true. I ask people to put recipes that they've tried and they've really liked right here so you know that you're getting a recipe that someone's tried and it's not been one that you're just experimenting with a lot of people like meatless dishes special diets these are low calorie diabetic and low fat recipes recipes to try is just a section where I ask people to put recipes that they thought sounded really good but maybe they haven't had a chance to try yet seasonal recipes is where you'd find recipes for Christmas, Easter, for the summer, barbecue, canning and freezing. Then the section below here is a section where I ask people to post recipes by categories, by broad categories. So if you have a salad recipe, you're going to want to put, it, put that recipe in the salad section. So you can see right here, lots of people have posted salad recipes. And look, people have also um, rated the recipes. A lot of these recipes have five stars. Okay, so let's go back. So let's say you want to post a recipe request. Okay, so we're going to go right up here to recipe requests. And I'm going to post on, I'm going to click on post new thread. Oh, but it says I don't have permission to access this page. Hmm. But if I register, I bet I can. So let me click on register. Oh, look, I can register. Okay, I am going to pick out a username. I'm going to pick out um, a username. I love, let's see, somebody else. I love recipes. Okay, that's a name that I can choose. I'm going to choose my own password. Okay, I'm going to put in an email address. This isn't the email address that I use, so don't send me email there because I may never answer it. Okay, and then the random question is if you have three apples and you eat one of them, how many apples do you have left? I hope that is two, if I do my math correctly. Okay, here are just some rules that I ask people to follow. That's to stay relatively on topic. Food's very broad, so you should be able to, to do that. I ask that nobody harasses anybody or threatens anybody or, you know, tells things to each other that are complete lies. But it's just basic, be nice. Okay, so I agree that I've read and understand and I'm going to buy the rules and then I'm going to click on complete registration okay it says thank you for registering 
So now I need to check my email. Okay, so I'm going to check my inbox right here. But you know what? It's not there. But I have this junk inbox. I'm going to click on that. Oh, my registration form is in the junk box. That's just a warning that that happens. Um, I don't get to choose that. Um, other people, the people at um, mailing software gets to choose that. So just be aware that you may need to look in your junk or bulk or spam email box. To complete my registration, I need to click on the link that's right here. And I'm just going to visit this URL. I'm just going to click on it. And I'm going to tell that, yes, it's safe to do so. And look, it says my registration is now complete. And I'm logged in. I can see that up at the top. Let me make this nice and big. back to the forum and now I want to post my first post again I'm going to go to recipe requests and I'm going to click on post new thread and I'm going to type in does anyone have a recipe for Bill's Cafe in Humble, Texas oh. It's actually Kingwood. So let me put in Kingwood, Texas. I love the burgers. Okay. So what I've done is I've just typed a quick little message. I love the burgers at Bill's Cafe. Does anybody know how to make them? And that is so true. Okay. So all I need to do is click on submit thread. And guess what? My post has shown up and I have successfully posted a message on the message board. So again, my name is Stephanie Manley, and I'm from copycat.com. Let me know if you have any more questions, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have.